I'm Laura Bushnak and I'm a Rawia photographer and I'm currently based in Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, the work I'm showing here is part of my ongoing project titled I Read, I Write. Uh, I took these pictures in Yemen. Uh, the project is mainly about uh, the importance of education and enriching the uh, lives of uh, Arab women. Um, when I first started the project, I wanted to focus on illiteracy, but since I wanted to cover as many Arab countries as possible, I uh, decided to focus on a different angle uh, in each country I've visited. What I focused in Yemen uh, was basically access of education because according to a UNICEF report, uh, access to education is extremely difficult for young girls. And what I decided to do in Yemen, uh, I took uh, portraits of uh, women who were the first members in their families to go to universities. And the main concept I used in this project is the uh, text you see on the portraits. So basically the women got engaged in the project and they wrote their own words on the pictures, uh, explaining, for example, why they decided to continue their education or like in the case of Egypt, uh, saying why they decide, decided to learn how to read and write and how that had influenced their lives. I'm tackling different issues. I mean, the difficulties women face in getting their education, and the main one is poverty and then cultural constraints, where a lot of families, unfortunately, still believe that education of women is not that important because eventually she'll get married and uh, the husband would take care of her. But the other issues that I tackled as well, like the teaching methods, Unfortunately, in a lot of public schools, all teaching methods are still used, and this puts off a lot of the students where they basically drop out of uh, school. The, usually, I go through NGOs to do my work, and this is a, a great way to uh, gain the trust of the women. Um, but the fact that most of the women in Yemen wear the niqab, it wasn't really uh, an issue to uh, publish their pictures. Um, and on the contrary, because before going to Yemen, I've asked uh, a lot of my male colleagues who work there, and I was told that it's very difficult for them to take pictures of women. But I think in this case, th the fact that I'm a woman, it helped, it made the work much easier to access uh, the stories of the women. I personally didn't like going to school that much. <laughs> and then as my photography career uh, developed, I wanted to do something about the position of Arab women and the idea partially started when I read a report by the UN which states that 50% of Arab women cannot read or write so how can we really uh, look for change especially nowadays that all these changes are taking uh, place across the uh, region I mean when half of the communities are often neglected so I think the, 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 the key point to start is education women has to be uh, educated, they have the right to it. That's the beauty of Rawia, that we all come from the region and more or less we are all working on social issues and particularly women issues, that each one of us is tackling a different topic and so when you put this work together where for example uh, I mean, you, you, you can see the pictures here of Yemeni women wearing the niqab and then you have uh, Egyptian uh, photographer Miriam Abdelaziz showing her belly dance uh, series from Cairo and it also shows the contradiction of the uh, of the region